Okay, people, episode seven of Until Death Do Us Apart. <sighs> Alex was kissing me, and it wasn't some soft, sweet romance novel like. I mean, novel kiss. Stop, bye. His kiss was hard, passion-filled, and downright sexy. Okay, girl. Alex slides his tongue into my mouth and I moan. <laughs> Gross, tongue kiss. He lifts me up and I wrap my legs around his waist. How? With that fucking long-ass wedding dress on, bitch. Damn near. He breaks from the kiss and starts... Wait, he, pr he breaks from the kiss and starts planting hungry kisses down my neck. I moan again and give him more access. <laughs> Suddenly the closet door uh, opens and light floods inside. Mr. Callahan, Miss Giovanni, what are you two doing in there? Alex and I exit the closet. I notice that the man in the mask is nowhere to be found. Weird. My apologies, sir. Just wanted a minute along with my beautiful fiance. Smooth, Callahan. Next time you want a minute alone, find a room. With all due respect, sir, this is my house so I can kiss my fiance wherever I want, girl. Damn, it's tense in here. That's my cute to leave. Miss Giovanni, I don't believe we formally met. Damn. <laughs> uh, Nikolai did not seem like a friendly guy at all. His face was hard and threatening, his demeanor cold and deadly. He did not send warm vibes my way. Uh, no, I don't think we have. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Giovanni. Uh, Mr. Callahan, I hope you are telling the truth about wanting a minute along with your fiance. You wouldn't want me to find out you were spying on me. I would only spy if you had something to hide. You don't have anything to hide, right? Um, I wouldn't get on my bad side, Mr. Callahan. Um... We wouldn't want anything bad to happen at your wedding, would we? Was that a threat? Oh, no, Mr. Callahan. I don't dare threaten you. I wouldn't dare to threaten you. Besides, threats are timeless. Actions speak volumes. I need a pop. A peach pop. You okay? Yeah, yeah. He's very scary. I know. I was going to say intimidating. Uh, yeah, that too. Do you think he was on to you? Probably, but he has no proof, so he can't do anything yet. Do you think he's going to ruin the wedding? I don't think he has the balls. That's good. Mm. So, so, that um thing we did in the closet, what thing? You know what I'm talking about. Maybe we should do it again, princess, to jog my memory. I couldn't deny that his offer was tempting to me. Even though I had no experience with boys, I knew Alex was a good kisser. His lips were soft and plump. And secretly, I wanted more of his kisses. Down, boy. So I'm a dog now. Girl, you've been a dog child. Sure as hell act like one. I gotta tell you, princess. I'm okay with being a dog as long as I get to do it <laughs> doggy style with you. Why are you so nasty? You bring it out of me. That, okay, whatever. <laughs> Why did you do it, though? Why did I kiss you? Yeah, we needed to look innocent, right? Um, yeah, but there's a million other things we could have done. Kissing you was the most appealing option, princess. Alex stares intensely at my lips like he wanted to kiss me again. I'm so tempted to let him, but I couldn't let him play with my heart. Girl! Fuck out of here. You just a fucking kiss. Alex was a player. The kiss meant nothing to him, even though it meant a lot to me. Uh, let's go meet our guests. I don't know how I feel about Valentina, ass, y'all. Make sure to be kind and, um, and gracious. I'm always kind and gracious. Sure. Alex, look who's here. Shit. Brianna. Um, who's Brianna? Uh, my ex, she can be a little bitchy sometimes. Do I, have to, do I still have to be kind and gracious? Yes. Oh, God. 
You remember Brianna, don't you? Um. Uh, introduce her to Valentina. Mother, this isn't appropriate. Hush, Alexander. Valentina is Brianna Marshall, Alex's long-term girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. It's nice to meet you, Alex. Oh, wait. Did you say meet you? I don't know. You too. Wow. Um, you're right about her dress. Isn't it so cute? Vanessa, was it a Valentina? Oops, my bad. I never imagined Alex would go to someone for someone like you. Like me, you know, tan, slutty, Italian. I think Alex fell in love for your fake boobs and ass. Don't say anything back there. She isn't like that. You've downgraded a lot, Alex. That's enough, Ren. Come on, Alex. You can't actually love her. Remember that weekend in... Did, did she say in the Jamaica? I certainly do. You couldn't get enough of me. You can't be her ass, Val. You have to be kind and gracious. I would appreciate it if you don't talk about your... You and my fiancé sexual history in front of me. Why are you scared here? Come back for more? I'm 100% sure he doesn't want you anymore. If he did, you would be the one engaged to him, right? Ugh, I don't have time for this. I'm Italian slut. <laughs> Mother, you, should have, you shouldn't have invited Brianna. Oh, Brianna. Uh, why? She's a nice Irish girl. You guys have a lot of history. We have no history. Well, she's my friend along with all your other exes, which is why I invited all of them here. All? Why are you so nervous? Well, there's a long list of my, um, victims. Conquest. Same thing. Aren't you hilarious? Well, I tr we'll, we'll try to avoid them all tonight. Uh, on top of greeting everyone. It's going to be a long night. You just love making my life difficult, don't you, Calhoun? Sorry. Alex and I agreed a few of guests. Um, after a while, we both snick away to take a break. Alex? Shit. What? Run now. Oh, okay. Have you seen Alex? I could have sworn he was just here. Uh, nope, haven't seen him. You know. Alex is getting married. It's a disaster. I have to come here to stop him from getting married. On the day of his engagement party? Today's Alex's engagement party? No. When and where is it? Um, right here, right now. Oh my god, really? That means Alex is here? Yeah. He has to be here. It's his engagement party. Um, what the hell is up with this girl? That means I can't implement my plan right now. What plan? Well, as you know, I used to be Alex's girlfriend. We were in love. Congrats. Alex really dated her. Wow, my respect for him has dropped. But then he chose some Italian whore over me. Um, but don't worry. My plan will d demolish Victoria. Valentina. What? My, I mean, her name is Valentina. Well, that's what I said, silly. Sure. Uh, how are you going to demolish Valentina? I'm going to get Alex alone and show him what he's missing out on. Well, I mean, missing out on without me. And once I get him in bed with me, I'll send the video to Valerie. And that'll break her little heart. Her name is Valentina. Who's Valentina? Alex's fiance. The one you want to ruin? Oh, I know that. Uh-huh. Anywho, the best part of the plan is, while I'm sleeping with Alex, my sister is going to pour hair removal cream on Vivian's head. Alex thinks Vicky is under, is, is hideous. Valentina? What? My name is Valentina, not Vicky, not Vivian, and not Valerie. Wait, your name? I, I mean her name. Oh, well, do you like my plan? You mean, do I like the fact that you're planning on removing my hair? Hell no. Do you think you're going to... Uh, don't you think you're going to be overboard? No, she stole the love of my life. Okay, okay, calm down. Jeez. 
<sighs> um, do you know where Valentina is? Um, there was no way I was gonna let her poor hair remover cream on my hair. You know the girl with the brown, with the brown hair, green eyes, a lot of makeup. The one hanging uh, around uh, Leanne. Um, wait. Yeah, that's Valentina. Leanne. Uh, I thought her name was Bran. Nope, her name's Valentina. She's definitely Alex's fiance. Definitely. It was cruel, I know, but I wasn't about to get hair removed. My hair removed. I love my hair. Besides, that was the perfect way to get Bria back for her rude words. Well, thanks for talking to me. We should hang out sometime. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Bye. Hey, come back. I didn't catch your name. Um, Liv? Yeah, Valentina. Uh, it seems as, as if fate has brought us back together again. You look stunning. Oh, thanks. Val, you, this guy says you two are friends. Well, we just met today. I don't think that classifies us as friends just yet. Ouch, that hurt. You'll live. So, uh, Liv, what are, what are you um, doing at my engagement party? Mutual friend of Valentina's and I invited me. Who? You know Natasha Porter? Uh, of course. I'm out for her. Really? That's amazing. And if you get the job, we'll be working together. Working together. I need a new girl to model with. And I think you will be the perfect girl for me. To model with. To model, of course. Well, I don't even know if I'm going to get the job. I'm 100% sure you're going to get the job, Valentina. You've got the perfect face and a perfect um, personality. Oh, that's sweet. I'm looking forward to modeling with you. Yeah. Um, what's the matter? I don't like that guy. Why not? Oh, that's nice. He wants you, Val. Who wouldn't want me? Just be careful around him, okay? Something about that guy isn't right. You're just saying that because you're jealous. I don't get jealous, pal. Sure. Oh, yeah, thanks for abandoning me with some weird-ass girl, ass white. When I say run, you run. <laughs> I can't believe you actually dated her. What were you thinking, Callahan? It wasn't one of my finer moments. She's dumb and she's evil. You know she's planning on seducing you while her sister pours hair removal cream on my head. I love my hair. Not ready to, I'm not ready to lose it. This isn't her first time she's playing something like this. What the hell? She's obsessed with you. Who can blame her? Shut up, Callahan. Um, I'm just lucky she didn't figure out I was the one marrying you. Then who, then who is uh, Caitlyn planning on pouring hair removal cream on? Uh, that detail doesn't matter. You have horrible taste in women. Does that include you, princess? Nope, I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Cocky, aren't we? Just making sure you know how amazing I am. Wow. So, who do we have to meet now? Follow me. I'm so over this episode, y'all. Can we just end this shit? Like, oh my god. Who's Raphael talking to? Um, that's Yana. She's Nikolai's niece. So, she's a bad guy like him. I'm pretty sure we're all bad guys, Valentina. You know what I mean. Should we be worried about her? No, she's fine, but what... She is one of is she one of your exes? No, she's just a bit dark sometimes. Dark? You'll see. Look at them, they both look fucking retarded. The fucking eyebrows stressing me the fuck out. Yana, how are you? I'm well, Alex Alexander. Are you a Valentina Giovanni? Eh? Uh, Valentina was beautiful with, I mean Valentina, sorry y'all, Yana was beautiful with 
her hair untamed blonde with her untamed blonde hair icy blue eyes and dark clothes um she spoke with a strong russian accent but it wasn't hard to understand what she was saying uh yes i am it is nice to meet you the rumors about your beauty are true oh thank you what about the rumors of uh, my beauty of my beauty Anna? you're not too much to look at Callahan. you just have pretty eyes but that is it um uh -huh. yana i already like yana whoever put alex in his place has to be trusted in well yeah has to be, was to be trusted in my book um so what are you two talking about what are you and ralph talking about uh, well, I was informing Ralph about the different ways to remove a person's vital organs. Oh, you're a surgeon? No. Oh. Well, now I know what Alex meant about Yana being dark. I have something I need to take care of. We talk later, yes? Um, yeah, sure. Well, she's something. I think she's cool. And she's beautiful. Do you really have a crush on Yana? What happened to you like in prim and proper girls? They're just they're all uptight and boring. You can't pursue Yana Ralph. Not only is she Russia, but she also not the loving type. This is supposed to be Ralph Ralph talking. So aren't I? What? I'm not gonna pursue her. I'll just um, admire her beauty from afar. That wasn't Alex talking. That was supposed to be Ralph talking. You guys. Do you think he's going to secretly start dating Anna? No, your brother is responsible. He knows the risk of dating a Russian. Yeah, I guess. Alex, I found you. Fucking hell. Please hide me. I thought you were supposed to be Alex the Butcher, Calvin. <laughs> I thought you were some... You were... You were afraid of nothing. I'm afraid of Caitlyn. <laughs> You're such a baby. Finally found you. Oh, fuck. What in God's name are you wearing? Oh, hey, I know you. You're my new best friend. Um, no. Please put on some clothes. No, I want to... Oh, wait, I want to know why you're marrying some 17-year-old Italian. Because I can. Well, once my plan is implemented, you'll find Valentina hideous. My job is to attempt to sleep with you. Is it working? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Well, your twin sister was always better at seduction than you. What? Did you sleep with my sister? Yep. Really, Callahan? It's hard to tell the twins apart. Not a good excuse, Callahan. How could you do this to us? There was no us to begin with. We, we slept with each other for two weeks. I don't think that counts as dating. But I love you. I'm sorry I don't feel the same way. Here's the goddamn twin. Kaylin, are you ready for the second part of the plan? Did you sleep with Alex? Um, well, how could you? You knew we were in love. No, we weren't. Shut up, Alex. Oh, please. You were no more than a fuck to him. He loves me. Not really. I'm going to kill you. Shauna, Alex is mine. No, he's mine. Is this a fucking soap opera? Who the hell are you? It's my new best friend. I'm not. Re I'm. I'm not really. I'm really not. Okay. Wait a minute. Are you Valentina? What? You lied to me. Well, actually, you're stupid. You were too stupid to see the truth. Shauna, pass me the hair removal cream. Shit. Gotta get the hell out of there. You guys aren't touching my wife. The hell we're not. <coughs> Fuck. <sighs> Pepito. Fucking Alex. He's always making my life a living hell. Whoop. The man with the mask. Who are you? Don't marry Alexander Callahan. What? what? If you marry Alexander, we will make your life a living hell. Who are you working with? The Russians? Did you just pinch me, bitch? The man with the mask grabs my arm hard. I tr I cry out in pain as he drags me closer to him. Do not marry Alexander. I mean, Alex Callahan. Valentina. 
you're you're hurting me. If you marry Alex Guy, we will kill everyone you love. Stop it. Do not marry Alex. Suddenly suddenly a knife whizzes by us and lands right next to the masked man's head. When a girl says let go, you let go. You miss. Everybody knows I never miss. I aim where as I was warning as a warning to you. Um, the next knife will be planted in your skull. Um, do as I say, Valentina, or face the consequences. Who was that? I don't know, but you're, but you be careful now, eh? Yana, um, thank you. Ouch, you're welcome. What happened? Nothing. I decided not to tell Alex about the mask, man. He will overreact. And start and start shit. Um, I've had enough drama for today. Are you sure? Yep. Well, I got rid of Shauna and Kate. Um, really? How? They both turned on each other. So where are they? The guards escorted them outside. They won't be back. Great. What? Did you really think it was smart to fuck two twin sisters? I couldn't tell who was who. You're smart. You're smart in the mafia world, Callahan, but you're an idiot in the real world. Sorry. Why are you saying sorry? Tired. <laughs> Your drama has exhausted me. Let's go to bed. Have a big day tomorrow. Why? What's happening tomorrow? Remember the bet we had this morning? Shit. I forgot I had to be Alex's servant for the day. Remember, you have to do whatever I want, and I might ask you to do. Uh, oh, and I might ask you to do what we did in the closet earlier, Alex. Am I making you nervous? Do I make you honey, baby? <laughs> or do you want, me, or do you want me to kiss you again? Um, no, I don't believe you, princess. I I'm not gonna do anything you want. You can't opt out, princess. A deal's a deal. I know. Sleep well because tomorrow you're mine. Hey. Stop! Stop hitting me! Stop hitting me, sir! I need sleep. Okay, okay is this over yet? Shit! God damn! Ugh. Four forty-eight a.m. Snoring's going on, you guys. What? What, Alex? What are you doing here? Get dressed, servant. Our day begins right now. Alex, it's four in the fucking morning. I'm not going anywhere with you. You don't have a choice, princess. You have to do everything I say. A deal's a deal. Let me sleep. I'm exhausted from all the drama you put me through yesterday. Sorry about yesterday. Now get dressed. Ugh, fine. But once I fully wake up, I'm going to kick you in the balls. I command you not to kick me in the balls. You can't command me around. Uh-oh. You're my servant, so I can. Now I'm giving you five minutes to get dressed before I come back in. Today's going to be a long day, so I should go change. This. This. Or this. Keep on what we get, because hey, who the hell about to change again? Here I go. So be continued. Okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that shit.